Hey guys, we're at the Excel Group in North America. We're checking out some iZip electric bikes. They use the TransX drive system. This is the M16 GTA, and it's got this cute little display panel. It's an LED console with a little numeric readout there. Pretty cool. In order to get this display to work, you first have to press the power button on a battery, and then come up here, press power button again. It goes through this little dance, and we're brought to the main readout. Your battery level is indicated by the colored dot at the top, so green is full, uh, yellow, orange is, is kind of in the middle, and red is, hey, you're getting pretty low. So it's kind of difficult to, to be precise with that. There aren't like five ticks or a percentage, which would be nice. However, there is a range estimate. So right now there are four red ticks on the right. That indicates we're in the highest level of assist. If you want to see range, you press power for just a second, and it, goes, it says 23. Okay, that's actually in kilometers right now. And if you want to switch from kilometers to miles, you hold plus and minus for a few seconds together. And now if we do the range test again, it says 14. So um, I think there's 1.6 kilometers per single mile. So the, the kilometers number is always going to be higher. Miles will be lower. Hopefully that helps you out. There are four levels of assist here. And then zero, right now there's nothing. And there's this green flashing light, which indicates walk mode. And that's disabled right now on these particular bikes, but I think you would just hold the minus button for a few seconds and then it would kick in and you'd get walk mode. So it's kind of interesting. On this bike over here, we actually have a trigger throttle built in and iZip used to have this like button press throttle thing, which I really did not like very much. The cool thing about this particular setup is if we go down to zero and that green light's flashing, now you can actually use the throttle from standstill. Pretty nice. Okay, then we come back over here, arrow up into any of these levels of assist. The throttle doesn't work unless the rear wheel is spinning just a couple miles per hour. Let's get it. There we go. So it has a little sensor right there and a magnet that has to pass by in order for that to work. I believe these bikes are also wired for lights. And if we did have lights wired in, I think you would just hold the plus button for a couple seconds to activate them. But I can't really test that with this setup. And then the final little secret here that's really cool is power trim. So if you hold a power and plus for just a second together, it brings up five. So five is in the middle, but if we want, we can arrow up to nine or down to zero. And that gives us uh, plus 15% or minus 15% of extra power. So it's not gonna make the bike go faster, it's just gonna make you accelerate faster. And that might drain the battery a little bit quicker as well. It's kind of like using the throttle. It's just a little zippier. Maybe if you're a heavier rider, um, you you'd bring that up a little bit and give you a little bit more help getting started. Or you're a lighter weight rider, you do just the opposite and that'll help you extend your range. So I hope that helps you. That is the DP27 Trans X display, Curry branded in this case. And one final little treat here, is that it has a mini USB port on the side. So you could plug in your smartphone, maybe a GPS or a music player. I believe that puts out five volts, 500 milliamps. Well, I think that's it guys. I'm gonna try to compile all the different details for this in a forum post that I'll link in the video description. If I missed anything, please chime in and, and add your comments. Uh, have fun out there and of course, ride safe.